Today, I am your host, Kayla Canaram. We're going to take a look at tonight's Tuesday night football matchup and our game of the day. All of these lines, of course, are according to FanDuel Sportsbook. Washington is 6-7, and 3-3 three and three on the road. They will be taking a trip to the Eagles, who are 6-7, and 1-4 and four at home. As it stands right now, the Eagles are the favorite at 6.5, with the total sitting at 41.5. Both teams, obviously, yes, six and seven and second and third in the NFC East, respectively. And both both have a small glimmer of hope left in making the playoffs. So there's still a lot on the line in this one tonight. Washington has won four of their last five, but are coming off a loss to Dallas. The Eagles are three and two in their last five, coming off a win over the Jets, 33-18, followed by their bye week. Jalen Hurts, who missed the team's last game with an ankle injury, is expected to play tonight. That bye came at a great time for the Eagles, giving him a little extra time to rest, so hopefully he is back to tip-top shape. Having Hurts back should be a big win for the Eagles, although Gardner Minshew filled in his shoes pretty well in that game over the Jets. In his 12 starts, Hurts has completed 60% of his throws for 2,435 yards and 13 touchdowns on the year, while adding another 695 yards and 8 touchdowns on the ground. Not only that, but he's also had over 50 rushing yards in six consecutive games. That is 50 rushing yards in six consecutive games. Pretty, pretty well done by him. Now over to Washington, who has obviously been plagued with COVID. Last week, they had 30 players who were either listed as injured or on COVID protocols. That is 3-0-30. 23 players were on the COVID list at the time of this game being moved to tonight, some of which include quarterback Taylor Heineke and backup quarterback Kyle Allen, along with Kendall Fuller and Jonathan Allen. Even just yesterday, tackle Andre Dillard went into protocols, who joined O-lineman Landon Dickerson. So with that said, who is playing quarterback for Washington, you ask? Great question, and we likely won't know the answer to that until game time. Obviously, Heineke would be the first option should he get cleared, but he's also dealing with that knee injury, so he wouldn't be playing at 100% even if he is in. If Kyle Allen also doesn't pass his test, the team is likely to bring in Garrett Gilbert, who Washington signed off the Patriots practice squad on Friday. So basically TBD at QB for the football team. So far this season, Washington is five and eight against the spread while the Eagles are seven and six. The over is three and one in their last four head to head matchups against one another. Nine of the Eagles games this season have exceeded this total of 41 and a half while Washington has cleared this number in eight games. Even with all these uh, circumstances and the information we have, I'm still not totally confident in my pick, but from what we do know at this time, I'm looking for the Eagles to cover tonight and we'll be taking them at minus six and a half. As for the total goes, despite all of the unknowns heading into this one, I still kind of feel tempted to take the over for some reason. I know that sounds crazy. Both games last night went under, but what do you say to taking chances? I think I'm leaning the over in Philly tonight, so do with that as you will. The good news is these two teams will have a quick turnaround at a revenge game as they face each other again in just two weeks on January 2nd. So in summary, give me the Eagles at minus six and a half and the over of 41 and a half. There you have it for our game of the day. As always, do not forget to make your picks at fanduel.com outkick. Best of luck in your betting friends. Have a good one.